I listen and read a lot of motivational speaker material. Thus, I am often inspired by it and use it for my own purposes. I find a lot of wisdom and good things in there. I don't absorb it uncritically. There are sometimes things I don't think make sense. Sometimes motivational speakers and writers can be naive and they can even be out of touch with reality. They often want to paint everyone as good and they say sometimes or just imply that if you do everything right you will always get victories and you will always win and everyone will always love you. That's obviously not the case. Even though I am inspired by them, my life course is a little bit different. So they may not necessarily understand what I'm trying to do and therefore their views on things may not be accurate. However wise they may be, they only have a piece of the puzzle. And the rest of us who have slightly different views have another piece of the puzzle. Thus I look to mavericks and their motivation. I'm more like a maverick than many of these motivational speakers, so I do see elements of myself in them. One maverick you may have not heard of is Norman Finkelstein. I saw a movie on him. I haven't heard about him for the longest time until recently. He's basically a Jew who is strongly against Israel and against a lot of what he calls the Holocaust industry. Thus, a lot of people don't like him. He's a professor and he was trying to get tenure at DePaul, but because he was so controversial, the weenies wouldn't give him tenure. I think he's great. I don't have really strong opinions about Israel and Palestine. I don't know too much about that, but I do like how he's a maverick. After he was denied tenure, he was expressing frustration and rationally motive behavior therapy. And people like Albert Ellis say, frustration is okay, but self-pity is not. And he was saying, he was quoting, Finkelstein was quoting some gospel singer he liked who said, some come into this world lame, some come blind. So he's saying, I don't want to feel sorry for myself. And that's a good way to look at it. He knows that if you speak your mind, you're going to get people against you. People aren't going to like you. Some motivational speakers will say, if you do the right things, everyone will love you. That's bullshit. That's hogwash. If they really believe that, they're missing part of the picture of life. Ralph Nader also has a similar view. He's faced a lot of adversity. He's faced a lot of aversion. He said when he grew up, his mother taught him the simple phrase, what about you? If you don't like something, change it, she suggested. In the movie about him, An Unreasonable Man, they emphasize that point of self-responsibility, taking responsibility. If you don't like something, taking action. So I believe mavericks like Ralph Nader and Normal Finkelstein have a lot to teach us about motivation, and I am inspired by them.